Looks like we're hopping into game one here. Uh, Isabel Luigi, definitely not a matchup you see every day on stream. No, not at all. But uh, sometimes a dash attack just throws the pottery at him. Attack. So I know you're not uh, Link, but I'm going to break some pottery on you. That's a fact. All right, that Zare is going to be, oh wow, I can't believe that um, Cyclone ended up hitting. Yeah, he's, it's tough to deal with, but why That Zare from Luigi is really going to be a big part of um, this matchup. How yeah. well YB or how well your boy Burris plays around that Zare is gonna determine this game. Yeah, it's, it's such an interrupting move, you know. And you can just be doing your thing and you just get hit in the face with a plunger. Yeah, not exactly uh, something to, to keep you in your groove. And that pretty much any percent will combo into a dash attack, which eventually kills. Yeah, and actually works in this game. It has never worked in any Smash game before. Wiper seems to be keeping it pretty even and neutral so far, though. Uh oh, that might that be dangerous. Is very strong. Yeah, that not back quite is very enough, strong. though. Oh, he went out there. Out. Oh, he just forward arrowed him off the stage. The Glux was not ready for that. No, not at all. Wiper is with some good off stage play. You know, Isabel is such a good recovery. Yeah, such he, a good recovery. She can always go out there. Yeah. And that, like, you have a range right aerial there. like that. You can just snipe him out of the air and get back easy peasy. Okay, I love that jab. Dude. That jab is like one of my favorite jabs. It's just like, yeah, don't like let him catch you by the corner. He can wobble. Wow. <laughs> so, if we see him jabbing for a long time, you know, I called it. Why for, oh, oh, neutral stands get up. up right into the forward smash. Yeah, right. I love Luigi's animation. <laughs> I know he's such a goofy character. It's yeah. so funny. He looks so sad all the time when he's like when he's getting oh. hit and doing hit. Oh, he doesn't get the spike unfortunately. I know. You know why Burr's was looking for that hype moment with the, that was. deep spike, but his fishing rod to get back. And that fishing rod can be tether canceled. Isabel's recovery is so good for so many different reasons. Yeah, she gets so many options out there. Tries to throw a pot at him again. Really trying to teach him this uh, pottery classes, but Luigi's not trying to learn today. Yeah, not at all. Luigi does not care most of the time. That cyclone, between the cyclone, the great frame data, yeah, he can just nair through anything. He can cyclone through a lot. That frame one of its ability type deal. Oh, oh. there you go. He just forward tilts right into it. I don't even it. think it was invincible on that. It no, just it wasn't. It just clanked. That was the, the silly part. Just got a you got an unfortunate timing, but oh. Doug brought this right back though. I'll tell you what. He, he's a uh, he's uh, one strong hit away from making this an even game. After it's so smart by Doug oh. here. Oh, poked his balloons. Did it again? Oh my god! He teched the. Oh my god! Why first said I'll keep teching it. Yo, he teched the middle pillar of PS2. But Doug he missed still the tech the on the kill. bottom of the stage and teched the pillar. That was amazing. That's the kind of offstage play we're looking for in this matchup. And the crazy thing was Doug still got the kill after. He I know like, he still ended up getting up it with an up smash. So you know, if I can't stage fight, yeah, I'll just uh, throw my head at you and uh, send you to the blast zone real quick. I want to know what those Mario Brothers have in their uh, hats, man. I know they got bricks up there. They've been, they got the the pipes from the plumbing they've been working on. Definitely. Throw them up there. Throw their head out there, and uh, I guess they don't have toolbox. Maybe they keep the tool in the pipe. There you go. Yeah, right keeping there. their uh, their pipe their pipe clean and stuff. Uh, Why burst though? Still, you see, every time they're in a neutral position, that he just forward takes smash. the lead and runs with it. He loves to catch those overextensions with the forward smash. Why Burr said you're invited to the party, but it's over there. Yeah, uh, that's it. Sends him out for a game one victory. Instead, putting Sands correctly in the frame. You, you can't Putting have him a, right in this place. Can't have a game without this. Uh, without the Sands. Why Burr is vibing a bit. Always, I feel like he's always wearing red and it always matches his beats. He always matches. It's, Whatever it's he wears between red, green, it doesn't matter what he's wearing. Shirt, yeah. shorts, shoes. He's match always got the time. fit on stream. He's vibing right now, grooving out. It. He said, uh, I don't want anything to do with all that uh, Luigi action. <laughs> no, not at all. He said, you can you can uh, hit me up, up against the stage as much as you want. Another game on Yoshi. We've seen a couple of Yoshi games so far here on uh, Yeah, on and I know he hates this stage, so I'm wondering what the other stages he banned were. Yeah, I got to say, I was like, what, what would you ban if you got to this stage? But working out well enough for him so far. Yeah, it is. Oh. And the thing about Luigi is when he doesn't have those mix-ups to go under the stage with side B, um, it's a little bit harder for him to recover. Yeah, his recovery is very linear at that point. You yeah, know, he becomes like, super predictable. You don't have the Cyclone uh, recovery anymore like he did in Smash 4 to get that uh, that stall. Yeah, I wish they would give him part of it back. Like, 
it didn't have to be as if you just mash, you could recover from the bottom of the stage. You're right, but you're right. At least give it to him like Doc has it. Exactly. At least give him a little bit of stall, right? But no, like I said, you got a double jump, and that's about it. And yeah. an up B. But like you said, it's pretty vulnerable, especially with a like a down air like Isabelle's. You can definitely snipe that out pretty easily if you get in the right position. Oh, spot yeah, dodge just four, right through that forward the... smash is pretty much safe if you space it anywhere outside the party popper. So, Wiper is still with the lead here. He's uh, but you know, it's definitely at a percent where Luigi can take him out. Oh no, that you hate to see it. Stock. Wiper is shaking his head. You know, he knows he didn't want to lose that stock that yeah. way. But also, he says zero? we take those. Oh, pops the balloons. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Okay. There wow, White Burst is always ready with these texts. Yeah, he was just waiting to be able to fishing rod back to the ledge. For sure, but White Burst with a solid one stock lead here after the unfortunate SD by Doug. Doug Lux. Um, you know, he now he's just ready to throw these back airs and forward airs out. Yeah, he's just wall gonna out try to Luigi. wall them out for the rest of the game. But one grab, Luigi still does have that zero to death on deck. I don't know if we've seen Doug do it yet, but. That doesn't mean he doesn't have it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta expect that if there's a Luigi man out there, they've labbed that at yeah. least a couple times in their days. So yeah. Always gotta be ready for it. Oh, oh. the angle on Yoshi's may have <laughs> messed him up a bit. Yeah. He tried to force match. Look like he went over Isabel. And, and Isabel working down that slant that pretty much extended the hitbox and in, in practice. Yeah. Why Burst takes it 2-0. Oh, he's got oh. the slingshot on deck. A little bit of flexing going on here. We love to see it from our man Y Burris. Talk to him, John. Talk to him. Oh, next oh we, we got, got Wonder Bread and Luxie going up to the stream. Wonder Bread and Lux 